friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW. I have quite the day of meals planned for you. I'm going to show you everything that I eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner, which is an amazing recipe, both of my snacks and my dessert. So if you want to see what I eat in a day to lose weight on the WW Freestyle Program, just stay tuned. So this is happening. It is 7.10 in the morning and my dog has made his way outside, right outside his dog door, and he is laying by the snow. It's freezing. It's less than 10 degrees out. He's so cute. Paws crossed and everything. Couldn't be any happier. For breakfast this morning, I'm going to go ahead and have the Felicia Fitness Combo. This is one of my favorite, most filling, delicious breakfasts. I am going to go to Costco with my mom. I'm going to try to take you guys with me. So this should tide me over uh, for breakfast. And then I'm going to bring my morning snack with me. So here's what is in the Felicia combo. So first you're going to need some shredded hash browns. You can have one cup or 85 grams for only two smart points. And then I'm going to make two runny eggs. I do like to mix my egg into my hash browns which is traditional of the Felicia Fitness Combo. And then I'm going to have two slices of my Sam's Choice Uncured Turkey Bacon for two points. And then I'm going to have one serving of Daisy Low Fat Cottage Cheese for two points. So my breakfast will be a total of six smart points. So let's get this breakfast served up. I am hungry. So here is the at Felicia Fitness Combo. This is what I'm gonna have for breakfast today. So over here underneath, I have my two smart points worth of hash browns, my runny eggs on top. I did decide to make two eggs. I have one serving of low fat cottage cheese and two slices of the Sam's Choice Turkey Bacon. And I'm gonna have a bottle of water. So this is my breakfast for today. This is so good and so filling. Normally I will mix my egg in with my hash browns and then take a little bit of cottage cheese and a little bit of egg and hash brown mixture and eat that together and it is amazing. So this is this morning's breakfast. Hello, I just hopped in the car. I am headed to get my mom so that we can go to Costco and grab a few things. So I'll show you all the good stuff that I pick up when we get back. I did pack my morning snack, so I will show that to you as well. I also grabbed a bottle of water. So I am going to be looking at Costco for a new camera and a new laptop. I've decided that I want to move up in the world of YouTube and buy a vlogging camera. So I'm going to look and see what available options Costco has. If they have something, it's typically the best price. And then my mom and I have the executive membership, so we get the reward discount as well. So I'm gonna look for that. I also am going to look for a laptop. My work laptop, I don't have a admin rights to download anything. So if I was going to buy a camera, I would then need to buy some editing software to do my videos and I wouldn't be able to download anything to that laptop. So I'm gonna look and see what my options are. I'm keeping my radar out for something like that. Get to spend a little time with my mom this morning and take you guys along with me if I can to Costco. If it's busy, I'm going to feel weird vlogging in Costco, but I'll at least show you what I picked up when I get back if I don't have the opportunity to vlog in Costco. So let's go pick my mama up and let's go to Costco. For my morning snack uh, on my way to get my mom, I am going to be having a strawberry chocolate cream built bar. 
You guys, this is by far the best flavor of Built Bar. It legit tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry. It is so good. And it isn't that artificial strawberry taste. It's real juicy, fresh strawberry. Yum. And the chocolate, you guys, the chocolate. Built Bars are made with real chocolate. They are a candy bar that has 110 calories or three smart points, 15 grams of protein, and six grams of fiber. These guys are delicious. If you haven't tried these, I do have a sample box discount code where you can get six bars for $6.95 plus free shipping. That code is here on the screen. That is a variety of flavors. So they'll send you six different flavors. You can also buy a full size box. So when you fall in love or if you already got the sample box, now you want a full box. And in the full box, you can have a variety of flavors or a single flavor. And that code is here on the screen as well. That is 10% off any full box of Built Bars. I love this flavor. I love all the flavors, but this strawberries and cream, you guys, friggin' delicious. The link to the Built Bar and codes are also down in the description box. I highly recommend these. They taste delicious. I love them frozen or in the refrigerator. And this is the one thing that will tide me over through breakfast until lunch. Love me some Built Bars. So I was thinking while we're driving to pick up my mom, I would go ahead and use my camera mount. That sucks, by the way. I need to get some Velcro so that it actually sticks to my dash. The, it has a sticky back versus a suction cup back, which sucks because the sticky wears off and then it doesn't want to stick to my dash with the weight of my phone. So anywho, I think I'm going to have to pick up some Velcro and apply Velcro to my dash so that I can Velcro that bad boy down when I want to use it. So with that being said, this may not be the most beautified car vlog, but I did want to talk to you guys about a couple of things while I'm on my way to pick up my mom. So first off, I want to talk to you guys about content. What content do you want on my channel? So I know that all of you love my meal preps. You love my what I eat in a days to lose weight on WW. You love my comfort food, my baking series. But what else do you guys want to see? Do you enjoy seeing the tips and tricks video for WW? Do you enjoy seeing like my top five favorite snacks, my top five favorite WW products, my top five favorite things? Like what do you guys enjoy? Do you want just day-to-day -day vlogs? Do you want strictly WW content? What do you guys want from my channel? And that will help me just decide exactly what I want to do on my channel in addition to, of course, cook with me's and meal preps and things like that. So that's actually been kind of weighing on my mind the last few days, just thinking of some new exciting things that I could share with you guys on my channel. Uh, yeah, just different content that you guys might want to see. So just share with me your ideas of content that you want to see for my channel. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about Sun Basket. So hopefully you saw my cook with me with the Sun Basket meal delivery service. You guys, this meal delivery service is so amazing. It is so inexpensive and the food is all organic. It is so good. The the produce and the meat was better than I can even find at my local grocery store. Like it was so good. I know a lot of you have taken advantage of the 60% off that Sunbasket offered, but I know that the views on my video versus the number of people that have ordered Sunbasket is a far cry from what who or the number of people that saw my video. So I really strongly urge you guys to give Sunbasket a try. Seriously, $28 for three meals for two people, all organic ingredients delivered to your doorstep with the directions. I just, I think that you should give it a shot. If you don't like it, you don't have to continue with your service, but if you do like it, it's only $58 a week for three meals for two people. So less than 20 bucks a meal, you guys. So again, I just really urge you to give it a try if you haven't already, because it is seriously so good. I got your card and the $20 you sent me for hitting my 20 pounds loss. So 
Thank you so much, Mimi. That was so incredibly sweet. I did also receive two other pieces of Happy Mail. It's just at home, so I haven't had the opportunity to give you guys a shout out, but it's coming, I promise. So my PO box is also down in the description box. Let's be pen pal friends. I'd love to send notes back and forth. And those of you that have sent me cards and gifts and things, I appreciate it so much. You definitely don't have to send me any gifts. Just a little note completely warms my heart. So thank you and thank you for all of your love and support of my channel. On not so positive of a note, if you are one of the subscribers that is part of my channel that is subscribed and you are one of the ones that give me a thumbs down on all of my videos and you know who you are because it is the same number of thumbs downs on every video, I would appreciate it if you would simply just unsubscribe. As YouTubers, we put a lot of time and effort into our videos. We take time away from our family. We take time of our personal time for those of us that work full time to do these videos just to have you guys thumbs down them while you're subscribed. So I don't understand. I don't think that any video that we put out is deserving of a thumbs down. But it, honestly, if you don't like a video of a channel that you're subscribed to, unsubscribe. Just don't give thumbs downs. It just, it's discouraging when we put a lot of work into it. So I'm off my soapbox about the thumbs downs. Again, thank you guys for all your love and support. I do this channel for you. I know you enjoy the content. It keeps me accountable, but I love, love, love the relationships and friendships that I've developed through my channel. So thank you so much for all of your support. I'm almost to my mom's and then we're going to Costco. Thanks guys. So I'm checking out the laptops. They have quite a few. They don't really have the camera I'm looking for though. So I ended up peeking at all the laptops at Costco. Found a laptop that I want. No cameras though. I'm looking for a specific camera. So it does look like I'm going to be purchasing the one that Kelly at Freedom in a Budget sent me her Amazon link for. I think that that's the ticket for the camera. I did find the laptop. It's a little more than I want to spend. So I'm really just wanting to not make a rush decision like I normally do. I'm looking at a little over $1,000 for a laptop and a camera. So really just want to think it through before I just race out and buy those items. So I'm going to think it over a little bit, but I did pick up a few things at Costco. So I'm going to turn you around and show you what I picked up. This is probably the smallest Costco haul that I've ever had in my existence. But I'm proud of myself for not going crazy. I almost got a pair of shoes as well. But here's what I picked up at Costco. Just four simple things. I grabbed my husband a brand new barbecue cover. Let me see if I can show you out the window. But there's our barbecue and the cover. You can't really tell, but it is completely trashed. So I did pick my husband up a new grill cover. So I'm excited to give that to him. Premier Protein, my favorite. Crazy, the last time I bought these, they were $24.99. Now they're $26.99, which is still a pretty good deal for an 18 pack. But yeah, funny how they went up a couple dollars. Everything's going up these days. And then I got a big 35 can pack of Diet Coke for the hubby. And I wanted cooking spray. And I was going to get my traditional canola cooking spray. And then I saw this. Little more expensive, way less uh, amount of ounces for the price. I think these are like a third of the size of the canola oil spray, but these have no uh, chemical or soy. So I wanted to give these a try avocado oil spray from Chosen Foods. So that's it from Costco, smallest haul ever. For lunch today, I'm going to make a cheese quesadilla. I don't know why, but this sounds so good. I'm going to have this with some vegetables and some fruit. So to make my quesadilla, I'm going to be using two of the Olay Extremeness, Extreme Wellness Wraps. I'm also going to be using one serving of Velveeta Shreds with one serving of fat-free cheddar cheese. I will do this a lot Well, I'll use a cheese that has points and then I'll use a cheese that doesn't to try make my quesadilla a little more cheesier and then I'm going to top it with some of the Tostitas uh, queso. So I'm going to get my quesadilla made and then I will show you my completed lunch. So I have my quesadilla here on the stove. You can see that I have one serving of Velveeta shreds and one serving of fat-free cheddar cheese. I will go ahead and let this cook nice and crisp on both sides. I generally cut it with a pizza cutter and then I decided to have some Brussels sprouts there in the microwave. So 
I'll show you my lunch once I get it all plated up. So here is my lunch for today. Here is my quesadilla. It looks so good. I just topped it with one smart point worth of queso. And then I decided to go ahead and cook up some Brussels sprouts. These are the Trader Joe's frozen Brussels sprouts. I just cooked them in the microwave, added a little bit of Himalayan salt, pepper, and spray butter for zero. I'm going to go ahead and have some blueberries. I did not have any for breakfast, any fruit. So this will be my first fruit of the day. For dessert, I'm having a Dan and Lighten Fit Caramel Apple Pie Greek Yogurt for two points. And then I'm gonna have my vanilla Coke Zero. So my lunch is a total of seven smart points, two for the Greek yogurt, five for the quesadilla. So this is going to be my afternoon snack. It's just about three o'clock now. I ate lunch at about noon. So what I have here are some baby carrots and one smart point worth of roasted red pepper hummus. And then I went ahead and cut up one of my honey crisp apples, drizzled one smart point of PB2 mixed with water over the top of my apples. I've been craving peanut butter. And I forgot that I had a ginormous tub of PB2 in my pantry. I told you guys my pantry is a black hole. So I dug out my PB2 and drizzled that over my apples. And then I decided that it's been a long day already. I need another cup of coffee. So I went ahead and brewed myself uh, one espresso capsule of vanilla coffee. And then I added one smart point worth of the sugar-free Coffee Mate Italian Sweet Cream Creamer. So my snack is a total of three smart points. One for the creamer, one for the PB2, and one for the hummus. Someone is right next to me as I was eating my afternoon snack. Diesel, hi babe. Diesel, did you come by mommy so you could have some snack? Yeah, you sure did buddy. All the while this one is in bed and has been in bed all day. Dug herself out a little hole right by the window so that she can lay in bed and look out the window, didn't you Lola? Yeah, you're cozy, huh baby? For dinner tonight, I am making the Taco Bell meat and potato burrito, a copycat version of that, a WW friendly version of that. I got my inspiration for this recipe from Louise Lane on YouTube. If you haven't checked her out, she has a fabulous channel. She has an adorable cat. She's, she's funny and witty. So if you're looking for another great WW channel to follow, Louise Lane is the one to go with. So here is what is in my copycat Taco Bell meat and potato burrito. You're going to need some potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and dice these up and cook these in my air fryer. If you do not have an air fryer, you can cook these either in a pan or in the oven. You're going to need some queso. You could substitute regular cheese if you are not a queso fan. Some taco seasoning, one pound of 96.4 lean ground beef. And our missing component is our Olay wraps, which are on the way. My husband, once again, saved the day. So those will be part of our meal. They are just not pictured at the moment. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to get started is cooking down our ground beef so that we can add our taco seasoning and then add this to our burrito. So I do have some Trader Joe's 96.4 lean ground beef. I'm gonna get this all nice and brown and then we will let this cool for just a few minutes before we add it to our burrito because it should make the handling of our burrito a little bit easier. So I would recommend that you start with your hamburger first. While our hamburger is cooking, we do need to go ahead and get our potatoes all diced up and into the air fryer. So we're gonna wanna cut these in smaller pieces. I would say into thirds each half of your potato. And then that way it is the perfect size to cook rather quickly and then go ahead and add to the middle of your burrito. So you just wanna go ahead and cut down as many potatoes as you want for your burritos. I'm actually going to just cut all of mine down so that I can make extras if my husband wants to have them in his lunch or as a snack. So you can also use frozen potatoes. I just decided to use fresh and toss them into my air fryer. So I'm gonna get all of my potatoes nice and chopped up. Okay. 
once you've cut up all of your potatoes, I have them ready here to go into my air fryer. I do have the oven style. That is why they are on these metal trays. I did spray the trays with nonstick cooking spray. And I'm also going to give my potatoes a quick spray as well. That just makes them a little browner and crispier when they come out of the air fryer. And I am going to season them with some garlic, herb, and butter seasoning. Just going to put that a little bit over the top of my potatoes so that they do have just a titch of seasoning before they go into our Taco Bell burritos. You can skip the seasoning or really do any seasoning that you want. I just thought that this garlic urban butter would be a nice touch. So let's get these into the air fryer. So I've got my potatoes in my air fryer. I'm going to cook these at about 375 just until they come out nice and crispy. Our hamburger is cooked down, so I've went ahead and added my taco seasoning. I'm going to add just a little bit of water, and we're going to get this nice and flavorful. I did turn down my heat a little bit so that it would kind of simmer on the stove with the seasoning in it until our potatoes come out of the air fryer. The hamburger meat is looking amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and even reduce the heat even more for a couple minutes, and we'll turn it off completely so that... Our meat is a little bit easier to handle when it's cool to add it to our ham, to add it to our taco. So looking good. I just pulled the potatoes out of the air fryer. They are done perfectly and the Olay wraps have arrived. So I am going to get these Taco Bell burritos put together. We pan fry these to give them that nice crispy coating. So I will show you what to do once you have the potatoes, the meat cooked, how to assemble the taco and get it nice and crispy. So I have two of my Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. I divided three ounces of the ground beef on to the two wraps. I'm also going to put the total of four potatoes between the two wraps. And then that will only be an additional two smart points. So I'm just going to put about eight pieces on each wrap of the potato. And then lastly, we will go ahead and add some queso. And then we'll fold this up similar to the Taco Bell burrito, and get this pan frying in just a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. So there are the potatoes. And then lastly, I just need to add the queso. Lastly, we'll add the queso. So I measured out one smart point or two tablespoons worth of queso. We're just gonna divide that evenly amongst our two burritos. And then we're gonna fold these up just like Taco Bell and get these cooking on the stove. And then we will have a nice crispy burrito. Once you've added all of your filling, you are just gonna spray your Pam with some Pam cooking spray olive oil. Put the folded side down and then give it kind of a nice push so that it has a chance to seal the open side. And we're gonna get this nice and crispy. And then I will show you what the completed meal looks like. And here are the burritos. So we just cook them on the stove until they get nice and crispy. Two of these burritos is a perfect size for dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut into it, and I'll show you what the inside looks like. But this is gonna be my dinner for tonight. For dessert tonight, I'm going to have two of my thumbprint shortbread cookies that I made in my meal prep. These are so good. Two smart points a piece. So my dessert tonight is going to be four smart points. These seriously are so good. You definitely have to try this recipe. So this is going to finish out my food for today. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my food that I ate today, as well as a few glimpses of my fur babies. They are so cute, and wherever I am, they are, as you know. So I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Make sure that you check out the description box below for the links for discounts for everything that I showed you in the recipe, as well as my favorite items that the companies have so graciously offered me discount codes for you guys. Check out Sun Basket, check out Cariel, Julia Bakery. They are all linked down in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe, 
hit that notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every single time I upload a new video. Give my video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you thought of my eating today and if you enjoy seeing the calories. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.